The reason why we sterilize seeds really truly comes down to the fact that not all bacterial issues that cause damping off are located in the soil or the equipment. They're actually sometimes located on the seed. This is why we commonly see treated seeds because of this reason and increases the rates of germination and overall health of the plant. Now, one thing I will say is that this needs to be done on raw seed, meaning it cannot be pelletized or pre-treated and doing these processes for too long or doing them twice over can actually harm the germination rates of your seeds. So the methods I'm showing you today are actually from LSU Ag Center. So it's from a university and they are known ways to actually sterilize the seeds. All I'm doing is something that's done on an agricultural scale and then scaling it down to a gardener scale. So the quantities and dosages of everything will be smaller. So the first method is called the chlorine bleach method, which would be considered a chemical way of treating the seed. This is best for destroying any bacteria, any viruses, and as well as any fungi that can harm the actual seed itself. Now with this method, you want to get a cup of water, two tablespoons of chlorine bleach, a single drop of detergent. Dawn dish soap is a detergent, not a soap, so you could use that. Stir this all together and then place your seeds inside of this. This could mean putting them inside of a test tube and giving them a little shake or whatever the case is. You want to agitate them in this water for exactly 60 seconds and once you're done you want to submerge the seeds in cold water. The cold water submersion should be anywhere from three to five minutes and then once that cold water submersion is done then you can place them on a paper towel and allow them to dry out. Once they're dried out they're ready to be planted or put into storage if that's the case. Because this is so quick we don't end up actually triggering any sort of germination cycle but it does treat the seeds. If you choose to put the seeds in storage after this you really want to make sure that you store them in a sterile environment whether that be mylar bags or vacuum sealing. The second method is the hot water treatment. Now this works great for anyone who is doing sprouts for example or microgreens that you're a little bit nervous about this because they are very notorious for carrying bacteria that can be harmful. One thing I will say though is the hot water treatment will not take away viral issues so if you're suspecting that the seed may have some sort of virus problem this isn't going to cure that but that's pretty rare when it comes to garden type plants. All you want to do is heat water to 100 degrees Fahrenheit and then submerge those seeds in that water for 10 minutes. Then you want to move them into a bath for the amount of time and temperature listed on this chart here. Now I know this is in all the possible seeds that you can grow but it's the ones that the LSU Egg Center gives and I'm not very comfortable giving you guys any other times that are not tested by a certified university. After this is completed you simply transfer these seeds again into a cold water bath for five minutes and then you let them dry out on some paper towel. Again same process if you're going to store them make sure you store them in a sterile environment. If you're not going to store them you can directly plant these. This is a great way to ensure that you have less viral issues and ultimately a happier healthier germination. One thing I will say is when you're sterilizing your soil I'm going to do a video on this. When you sterilize your soil there are risks of more fungal issues and this is simply caused by just heating of potting soil. Very odd phenomenon but very real phenomenon that does happen. So this is one step you can take that allows you to work with a, an environment that may not be 100% sterile because that's not always the case when we're gardening. I hope this helps.